Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matayum 3 students. How are you today? I hope you have a very good Monday morning. Now, today we're going to continue our lesson about finding the volume. Now, today we're going to find the volume of the pyramids. Okay. So, again, as you can see here in our first slide, so we have here the formula of the pyramid, the volume of the pyramid, which is one-third times the base area times the height. So as you can see here, we have here our uh, pyramid. So this is a square pyramid because it's basis with the figure of the base, which is a square. Okay, so we have here the uh, slant faces, which are the triangles, and they're all equal to each other because our base is a square. Na? So again, we have here some parts. Like here in the center, okay, so this is the this is perpendicular to the base. So this is center height, which is directly connected to the vertex or the apex. And uh, we have here also the uh, this side here with the this line here. As you can see, this uh, it doesn't have the name, this one. This is the slant height, okay. And we have here this slant edge, this one, okay. And there are four faces. And what else? And that's it. Okay, so those are the different parts of the pyramid. Now remember that the uh, the height that we need for the pyramid is the center height. This one here from point F to point E towards the vertex. Nah? Okay, so we're going to apply this uh, volume to find the volume of the pyramid. Our example number one. Okay, so we have here our first example. It says that the ABCDE is a pyramid with a square base of side 12 cm. Given that the centimeter cen center height of the pyramid to be 10 cm. Find the volume of the pyramid. Okay, so you can see here again, this is a square pyramid having a square base. Okay, now what are the given? The given we have... Uh, the, the measurement of the square base with a side of 12 cm and uh, given also the center height of the pyramid to be 10 cm. Okay, this one here, line EF. Remember that for to find the volume of the pyramid, we only need the center height and the measurement of the base. Okay, now first we're going to figure out what is the area of the base. So since that this is a square, so we can say the area of the square uh, base, which is s power 2, and the measurement would be the side is 12 power 2, or that would be 144 uh, square centimeter. Na? That is the area of our square base. Now, so we can have our volume. Here we go. That is one third times the base area times the height. Okay, so we have here the base area, which is the, ba uh, the square base, and the height here is the center height, not, which is given also, and that is 10 centimeter. Now we're going to substitute that to our formula. So we have here one third times 144 our uh, area of the, square of the base, which is a square, and our center height is 10. Okay, so again, uh, we simplify this, and that will give you 480 cubic centimeter. So remember that for the volume, the, our unit is in a uh, cubic or in, in cube. Na? Okay, my question. Okay, now we go to our next example. It says here a pentagonal pyramid has a base area of 21 square centimeter and uh, a height of uh, 8 centimeter. Find the volume of the pyramid. Okay, so we have here already the diagram and it's uh, written already here the height. The given here, 8 centimeter is the center height. Okay, and also given the area of the base, which is 21 square centimeter. Now our base here is a pen pentagon. Okay, so we call this a as pentagonal pyramid. Okay, so again, we have here our formula which is one-third times the base area times the center height. So we substitute all the given here. You have the base area, which is 21, and the height, center height is 8. So we can simplify this. 21 by 3 is 7 times 8. 
and that would be 56 cubic centimeter. Okay? So that's why our power here is 3 because uh, area is power 2 plus another 1. So it will be power 3. Okay, Mai? Do you have any question? Okay, so we have here our next example. This one. It says, a pyramid has a square base of length 10 centimeter and a total surface area of a... Uh, 272 square centimeter. Find the volume of the pyramid. Okay. So here in our uh, last example, it's uh, given here the the area, a uh, length, the side of the square base is 10 centimeter in its side, this one. Okay, so you can see here in our diagram. And also given here the total surface area, which is 272 square centimeters. So the total surface area of this uh, pyramid is equal to this and we're going to figure out the volume how we can find the volume so we need to find again first uh, from the volume that we have here the, the formula look at this um, we have here the area of the base so we can find this one because we have the measurement of the side of our base which is a square and what we're going to find is the center height na? So we're going to find this height PE or EP na, to find the volume of the pyramid. Now how we can do that? Now we can do that by means of finding one of the uh, slant face. This one. If we can find the measurement or the area of this uh, slant face, then we can find the height. Because to find the area of this triangular slant face, we need the height of the slant height this one line e cube okay so we're going to find that one first now our first step is to find one slant triangle one slant face here okay out of the uh, of a total uh, surface area so we have this one now area of uh, one face of the triangle this one the slant face one of the slant face triangle we need to find what is the area of that so that would be equal to the total surface area minus area of the base this one okay and that would be divided by four because if we're going to do this one so you have the total surface area right minus the area of this base square what would be left the four slant triangle faces around right so we're going to divide the result by 4 so that we can find the area of one face of the triangle. Okay? Now we start. So we substitute that to our uh, formula. So we have here the total surface area is 272 minus the area of the base which is 10 or 10 times 10 then divided by 4. Okay? So again, we uh, simplify this. 272 minus 100 is 172 divided by 4 and that would be 43 or that would be 43 square centimeter is the area of one slant face of this triangle okay so we can use that to determine the slant height eq na? so from one triangle this one if a triangle that would be equal to one half times the base times the slant height or this one so we can figure out here what is the measurement of this slant height now we substitute first we have here the slant height eq is equal to we transpose this to multiply with the area of the triangle this one divided by we transpose base as the denominator that would be like this to so two times the area of the triangle divided by the base and we substitute all the given values we have the two times 43 as the area of the one triangle one face of the triangle divided by the base which is 10 nah, this one line bc is 10 and we simplify this that would be uh, 2 then will be 5 43 divided by 5 is 8.6 centimeter as the height of this slant height eq or qe nah? okay my now from here take a look at this triangle this one in blue color so if we have this side here this one line qp or pq is also given because that is half that is half of this distance 
which is the whole distance is uh, 10, then divided by 2, that would be 5. Therefore, this measurement here, this side here, is equal to 5 centimeter. And from here, since that this is this line or the height is perpendicular to its base, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem, right? So it says here that the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, wherein that a can be 5 or uh, line EP or B can be 5 or the line EP but C here would be this side here EQ or 8.6 centimeter. Na? Okay, so we substitute the volume. Now we assume that EP will be A. So B that would be this side here with PQ which is 5 so that would be 5 power 2 and C our hypotenuse is 8.6 power 2. So we simplify this and take the square root and that would be the center height to be 7 cm. Okay? Now, we complete already. We completed. So, we have the center height and we have the base. So, therefore, we can find now the total volume or the volume of this pyramid. So, we have here the formula. Again, one-third of the area of the base times the center height. Okay? We substitute all the values. Area of the base, this is uh, 10 by 10, or that is 100, times the center height, which is 7. Then that would be how much? 233.34 cubic centimeter. Okay, my Question? Okay. So if you don't have any question, that's all for today. And we're going to continue uh, to find the next one is to find the volume of the cylinder. So see you. Bye-bye.